This is Juddy, J&J True Outdoor Adventures, and this is a ham radio uh, video that I'm doing. It's uh, about 20 minutes till 12, which uh, that would make it about 20 minutes. I'm trying to think of the UTC time. It's about uh, uh, 1640 UTC <clears throat> and uh, I'm trying out my do-it-yourself uh, antenna that resembles a Wolf River coil and I've got it uh, got a mount made for it and I've got all the ground radials today I'm gonna do an on-the-air test I'll show you the antenna here in just a second Right there's the antenna, and uh, I've got about, the old, I think it's a two foot piece of rebar. Drove down in the ground, sorry about my finger there. Drove down in the ground, I've got an angle bracket. It's got wing nuts on it. With that attached. And then you can see my three ground radials. I've got one, let's see here, yeah, I've got this one here going down that way to where the old garden spot used to be. The other one is going that way to that uh, grapevine structure I've got there. And the other one is going, let's see if I can find it here, there it is. And it's going that way over there. And they're 33 feet long. And there's my coil. I'll have to get my analyzer and adjust it. And there's the ham stick. Which again, that is a, I don't know if you can read that or not. Uh, let me get it back in the camera. That is a 10 meter ham stick. And I've got a red tip on the end of it. It's a little rubber tip. I'm gonna go get the uh, coax cable and uh, the uh, FT817ND. I'll hook the analyzer up to it, adjust the coil uh, to uh, the 40 meter band and get it the best I can with the analyzer on SWR. And then uh, I'm gonna use, I'm still gonna use my LDG 817 tuner, automatic tuner, uh, to make sure it's good and resonant. Uh, but you know, this is just a a portable antenna to take out in the field, and uh, I'm going to hope it works real good. Uh, I had a guy from South Carolina call me up, asking about my construction of it. Uh, he made one, sent me a picture of it. I'll try to uh, share that in this video. And then uh, another guy up around Connecticut or whatever had seen my video, he made one. And I like the way he did his. He's actually using a tripod. It was like a roof mount tripod uh, for uh, antenna mast. His PVC is a lot longer and he's got his SO239 coming out the side of the PVC so he can mount that in that tripod. Uh, but I wanted this one to be portable. Uh, I'd rather have something else other than that ham stick. But I'm going to try the ham stick for now and see how that works. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm on the back porch. There's my Bioeno uh, battery, 12 volt, 4 point amp hour. Uh, my electronics analyzer. And there's my 817 and all the stuff in it. I'll get it dug out of here and get the analyzer hooked up and we'll see what happens. Okay, as you can see, I got it on 7.205. It's about a 5.2. So I need to lower my coil a little bit. So I'm gonna go out there and lower the coil some more and we'll see uh, how close I get it. Okay, you can see where I lowered the coil. 
on it. So we'll go back up and check standing wave. Okay, I got it down to two to one. And I don't know if you can see it from here with the sun on it, but uh, you can see roughly where the coil's at. But uh, two to one, it's 7.205 megahertz. So I'm gonna give it a try there on their test and see how it does. I'll try the tuner and see if it tunes and then uh, go from there. Try to get on the air and see if I can make some contacts. Okay, I got it hooked up. Looks like it's tuned. I'm gonna find a frequency. Maybe see if there's any parts on the air going on right now. I'm gonna give it a try. Go ahead and here's the battery I've got. Here's the meter I got for it. Right now on receive, 0.55 amps. We got 13.11 volts on the battery. I don't know. I have to do some more reading on the one that keeps flashing. Tells me the different uh, peak watts, amp hours 0 0.029, uh, watt hours 0.3, amp peak 1.8. So I'm still learning all this stuff. But I've got my manual tuner out here. Of course, there's a signal link. All that's packed. All this stuff here that you see, other than the analyzer, is all packed. In that bag right there so let me see if i can find a, a frequency and see if there's any parts on the air or i might even check into the e-cars net if it's still going on there i bumped my power up i was down on low power i believe no well, that's high power there <coughs> it might not be a good thing to try to work at a special and, uh, event station QRP. Very good, 7 3, QRZ, Washington to Trenton. Whiskey Delta 8, Whiskey Victor, QRP. QRZ, Washington to Trenton. Whiskey Delta 8, Whiskey Victor, QRP. Whiskey Delta 8, Whiskey Victor, QRP. I'm hearing a few stations, but really hard to pick out. Let's try again. Whiskey Delta 8, Whiskey Victor, QRP. Whiskey Victor, Whiskey Victor only, please. QSL, this is Whiskey Delta 8, Whiskey Victor, QRP. Over. Whiskey Victor, station only, please. Whiskey Delta 8, Whiskey Victor. Whiskey Delta 8, Whiskey Victor, QRP. I can, I just can't pick it out. Uh, so we'll, we'll just, hopefully, just hang in there. We'll try again in a few minutes. Uh, so, QRZ, Washington, Well, he almost heard me. He heard the Whiskey Victor. Kilo 4 station so, only, please. Kilo 4 station. Uh, I'm going to go to a different frequency, and I may just call CQ myself and see what happens. Okay, I just got an email confirmation of working, and I keep hitting the wrong button, but I just worked Whiskey 2 Tango, which is Matt. He was 5'9 into West Virginia. I was 5'3 to him. He's in New Jersey, and that was at 1734. He said I was down in the mud, but my antenna worked. Uh, he finally was able to hear me. I wish I'd have got most of that. I don't even know if I got any of it. He was signing with me, and he didn't say my call again, but I did get an email just now confirming the contact. So uh, the antenna is working. CQ, 
stand there in the backyard. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm going to try some more. Well, I've been out here a little over two and a half hours. And of course, I stopped for lunch and I had to tune the Atana because I went to 20 meters. But uh, I've worked three stations, two parks on the air, uh, K3A FV and KF4 LXS. Uh, one was in Pennsylvania, the other one's in Kentucky at state parks. Uh, and the antenna's doing good. I brought me a Sharpie out to mark where 40 is, the sweet spot for 40, uh, so I can get there quickly without back and forth, back and forth the analyzer. And uh, I've already marked the 20, so I gotta mark the 40. And those are the two bands I'm gonna worry about right now. I got the sun beating down on my back, as you can tell. I'm getting ready to put this stuff away. That uh, new battery I got is doing good. Still 13.1 volts. Uh, 0.911 amp hours. 11.8 watt hours. 1.84 amp peak. 2.9 volt minimum. 23.9 watts peak. And right now it's setting at 0.43 amps. So it's working good. And uh, you can hear the stations there. Uh, so I think my home brewed antenna was a success. I'll do some more testing of it later, but just wanted to report on it. I mean, out there it is, setting in the yard. And the coil's right where I can tune 40 good. Uh, you can't see the mark. No, nah, you can't see the mark for, uh, I already done it for 20. But I'll go down there and mark it for 40. And I'll know where to slide the uh, uh, collar up to get to uh, 20 and 40. And I'll do some other marks for the other bands. Like I said, it was a success. And I forgot to bring my Sharpie. But you can see right here where I've got it marked for 20. That spot right there would be for 20. And uh, right here I'll mark it for 40. And uh, I'll mark it for the other ones. But like I said, I've got three radials, 33 feet long. Made uh, this angle bracket today. And it's just a piece of rebar, about two feet long. And uh, uh, it's worked well. I mean, there's the uh, 10 meter ham stick. I would like to find me a telescopic 102 inch whip to try that out. But uh, I'm pleased it works. My first uh, home brewed vertical. So appreciate you watching. I uh, wish I'd have got some recording of me actually making contacts, but. I gotta log those three in and I'll be done. Thanks for watching.